DC and Warner Brothers have an exciting lineup of movies in store, ranging from highly anticipated sequels to new interpretations of beloved characters. With recent changes in leadership and a focus on a more interconnected universe, DC is set to deliver a fresh wave of superhero stories. From the introduction of new heroes like Blue Beetle and Supergirl to the return of fan favorites like Superman and Batman, there's plenty to look forward to in the world of DC. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. Blue Beetle Blue Beetle, a film being produced by Warner Brothers, initially entered production in November 2018. However, significant progress was made only after the appointment of Angel Manuel Soto as director. The movie is scheduled to be released on August 18, 2023. And although it is intended to be a part of the DC Extended Universe, even after the franchise's reset in The Flash, James Gunn, the director, hinted that the story could potentially be categorized as part of DC Elseworlds, alongside films like The Joker and The Batman. This news is particularly exciting as Jamie Reyes, the relatively lesser-known DC hero, will be brought to life by Zolo Maraduena, potentially paving the way for a promising future for the character. The family of Reyes will play a significant role in the plot of Blue Beetle. The cast includes Adriana Barraza as the grandmother, Damian Alcazar as the father, Elpidia Carrillo as the mother, Belisa Escobedo as the sister, and George Lopez as the uncle. Additionally, Bruna Marquezine will portray Jenny Cord, Reyes's love interest, while Raul Max Trujillo and Susan Sarandon will take on the roles of the film's antagonists, Conrad Carapax and Victoria Cord, respectively. The first trailer for Blue Beetle indicates that the movie will focus on Reyes's original story as he transforms into the superhero known as Blue Beetle. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom In the highly anticipated sequel to DC's blockbuster film Aquaman, titled Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, Jason Momoa will once again portray Arthur Curry, the superhero and member of the Justice League. James Wan returns as the director, but the movie encountered significant delays and production difficulties due to COVID-19. It is now set to be released on December 20, 2023. Joining Momoa are returning cast members from the previous film, including Patrick Wilson as Orm Marius, Willem Dafoe as Nudis Vulko, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as David Kane or Black Manta, and amidst controversy, Amber Heard as Mira, although her role has reportedly been significantly reduced. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom revolves around an ancient threat that endangers the realm of Atlantis, compelling Arthur Curry to defend his newly discovered domain. Early responses to test screenings of the film have been mixed, leaving the outcome uncertain in terms of replicating the phenomenal success achieved by its predecessor. Joker Folie à deux The Joker, which debuted in 2019, is one of DC's most successful films, earning critical acclaim and multiple awards, including two Academy Awards for Best Original Score and Best Actor for Joaquin Phoenix. Joker Folie à deux, which was originally scheduled as a single film, will be released in May 2021. It will be the sole film released by DC that year on October 4, 2024. Todd Phillips' Joker franchise falls under DC's Elseworlds category, implying that it is separate from the main DC Universe reset following The Flash's events in 2023. As a result, the sequel will be able to tell a completely new and different story. Joaquin Phoenix will return as Arthur Fleck, commonly known as the Joker, while Zazie Beetz is anticipated to reprise her role from the first film. New cast members for the sequel include Brendan Gleeson, Catherine Keener, Jacob Laughlin, and Harry Lottie. Notably, Lady Gaga will play Harley Quinn in Joker Folie à deux, with set photographs indicating a possibly nasty depiction of the character. Furthermore, the sequel is expected to be a film musical, a completely different genre than its gritty and gloomy predecessor, but still embracing those distinguishing features. Superman Legacy DC has decided not to make a sequel to the 2013 film Man of Steel, instead taking the character in a new direction with the upcoming feature Superman Legacy. The film will be released on July 11, 2025. James Gunn, known for his contributions to superhero films, is currently working on a Superman picture in which he will play a younger Clark Kent during his early career as a reporter. Although not an origin narrative, the film will explore Clark's struggle to reconcile his Kryptonian origins with his Kansas upbringing. It will look at the difficulty of being a compassionate hero in a harsh world. Gunn has stated that he will helm the project. The film Superman Legacy is currently in pre-production, and Gunn delivered his first draft of the screenplay shortly before the WGA strike began. 
The strike's impact on production is still unknown. According to sources, David Korenzwet from We Own This City is a strong contender for the role of Superman, while Nicholas Holt from X-Men First Class may be considered for the role of Lex Luthor. However, conflicting reports claim that Holt may be in the running for the part of Superman. Gunn has opted to remain silent on the casting rumors. The Batman, Part 2 Matt Reeves, the writer and director, is currently working on the much-anticipated Batman 2 as a continuation of the series. Despite recent challenges at Warner Brothers Discovery, the film's production has received the green light and is scheduled to be released on October 3, 2025. Reeves has further solidified his dedication to the project by signing a multi-year first look agreement with the studio. Robert Pattinson will return to portray the iconic character of the Dark Knight detective. Additionally, there are speculations and rumors circulating about the potential appearance of the Joker in the movie. The Brave and the Bold DC has officially announced that there will be two separate cinematic versions of Batman moving forward. Alongside Matt Reeves' standalone movies in the Batman series, the DC Universe will introduce its own iteration of The Dark Knight. This new film, titled The Brave and the Bold, will focus on the entire Bat family, with a specific emphasis on Damien, the ten-year-old son of Bruce Wayne. The storyline is expected to draw inspiration from Grant Morrison's Batman comics. It remains uncertain how the brave and the bold will connect to the events of the Flash movie, if at all. However, director Andy Muschietti, who is helming The Flash, has been confirmed as the director of The Brave and the Bold, suggesting a potential link between the two projects. Further details regarding the film's plot and its ties to the larger DCU are yet to be revealed. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow In the upcoming DC Universe, a new version of Supergirl will be introduced. Titled Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, the movie takes inspiration from the comic of the same name by Tom King and Bilquis Evely. This iteration of Supergirl has a unique background, having spent a significant portion of her early life on a fragment of Krypton that survived the destruction of the planet. Director James Gunn describes her experience as a horrible situation where she watched everybody around her die. It is currently unknown whether Sasha Kelly, who portrays Supergirl in the Flash movie, will reprise her role in Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Further details regarding the casting and the film's overall connection to the DCU are yet to be revealed. On January 31, 2023, James Gunn announced the upcoming film The Authority, which will be a part of the DC Universe's Chapter 1, titled Gods and Monsters. While an official release date has not been announced yet, the film is expected to bring a unique approach to superhero teams within the DC Universe. The Authority is known for employing more extreme and aggressive methods to achieve their goals, setting them apart from traditional DC heroes. It is speculated that the inspiration for The Authority may come from Amazon Prime Video's series The Boys, known for its gritty take on superheroes. Although no writer or director has been confirmed for The Authority, James Gunn hinted at the team's connection to the next Superman iteration in the DC Universe. This new Superman is expected to make his debut in the film Superman Legacy, set to release in 2025. The exact nature of their ties and how they will be incorporated into the story are yet to be revealed. Swamp Thing Despite its lack of success on the DC Universe app, Swamp Thing is still a significant focus for DC as they venture into their new cinematic universe. The upcoming Swamp Thing movie aims to delve into the haunting origins of Alec Holland and his transformation into the monstrous creature. James Mangold, known for directing films like Logan and the upcoming Indiana Jones 5, is taking on the task of writing the script for the film. The intention is to bring a dark and compelling story to the big screen, expanding on the intriguing world of Swamp Thing. With an impressive roster of upcoming DC movies, the future of the franchise looks promising. Which film are you most eager to see on the big screen? Are you excited for the diverse lineup of heroes like Blue Beetle and Supergirl? Or are you eagerly anticipating the return of familiar faces like Aquaman and Batman? Share your thoughts and let us know which upcoming DC film has captured your attention the most.